salvage what's left of the season. Yeah, I think uh, with this we need to get, you know, we need to make sure that we win all the game. We need to make sure that we get uh, the six points out of these two games to, to make sure that we end the season well on the next side. Of course, uh, the are you aware that uh, you guys might not qualify for the top eight if you fail to win the last two games? And uh, is that a worry to you guys? Yeah, I mean, yeah, everyone is aware of the situation we're in at the moment. So pulling the eight together as a team, you know, we're working hard to make sure that uh, we will play the, the, the MTN coming the next season, you know. So we are going to work on that to make sure that we play up the, the there was a point that you you guys were being counted as one of the teams that could finish the top five, top four, and then it seemed like as you go further in the in the Ned Bank Cup, your your league performances just went down, so to say. Did that the fact that you're going, uh, you have a big chance of winning the Ned Bank Cup, maybe affect your league performances? No, not at all. No, uh, we're focusing on both the league and the net the net bank cup, you know. So football is a funny sport whereby you don't know whether you win the game or lose the game. But every time we prepare here, we prepare to win the game, whether it's a league game or it's a cup game. So I wouldn't say uh, the net bank cup uh, really, uh, what can I say, uh, messed, uh, messed up on the league games because we're focusing both on the league games and the net bank cup. So, fortunate enough, we are in the Net Bank Cup final, but the unfortunate part is that we dropped out of the top five or, or, or on the lock. But it's, it's something that we, we, we as players, we, we are looking at. So, we are willing to push uh, to see where, where we end up at the end of the season. The coach is always concerned about your guys' failure to, to score goals, uh, especially a uh, lack of composure in the final third of the pitch. Is that a bit of worry for you guys? Uh, or have you guys uh, spoken about it um, among, among y y yourselves? Um, and what is it that you think needs to be done to ensure uh, come your next two games in the final, you guys score goals? Yeah, I mean, uh, everyone can, can, can see that. Not that we are not creating chances, we do create chances, we do go to the final third of the, of the field. So the, the problem we've been having is scoring goals. Yes, we do score goals at other games, like we, we won 4-2 against Chipa. So we, we work on it each and every day and the coaches are making sure that we do finish in, they are pushing us, you know. And at the end of the day, it's up to us in the field to make sure that whenever we get a chance, we grab it. But I think uh, we're working towards it. So we we'll make sure that in these remaining games, we we'll finish when we get a chance. For you personally, it has never been a, a really easy season. Uh, you were out for a while. When the coach was trying, was showing faith in you, you got injured. How has it been for you? How do you feel about it? Yeah, I mean, it's very disappointing as a player. You know, I've been out for quite some time, coming back. I wasn't out for too long, so yeah, I'm glad I'm back again, but it wasn't really a good season, but I'm hoping it will end up in a good way by winning the Netman Cup. Okay, how does it feel um, going to play home matches away from home, uh, considering that you know your home matches yet if and be haven't gone your way this season? You know, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say uh, we'll be playing uh, home game away from home because I mean Chiefs is a big team, Chiefs has suffered as a you know, so even if we can go play in Cape Town or Daven, I think the supporters will still come in numbers and we still feel ahead. So that travelling doesn't play a factor in the fact that you guys are travelling to play? Away. No, I mean we, we travel most of the time, you know, as footballers we know that in the sport we travel, like when we sometimes they will go into Africa, you know, so in this, in this industry we travel, you know, so we are ready, we are prepared. What is it about FNB that you guys haven't been able to get the results out? Uh, I wouldn't say it's about FNB. I think it goes down to us as players working hard, you know, winning games. I wouldn't say the, 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 the stadium has anything to do with us not winning. I mean, we are the ones who are playing. A couple of players have, have left the team already. Um, how do you feel about this sudden shake-up in the team? You know, uh, I, I wouldn't comment a lot on that because of when the negotiations started when they came in and I wasn't, uh, 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 I wasn't part of the negotiations when they left but one thing I can say that I'll miss them because of the, they, they, were, they were my friends
friends, we are a family, you know, as footballers, we come here each and every day, we spend, we spend most of the time together, so we develop a bond. So yeah, that's the only thing we can do. Does it not concern you every season there's players getting released? I mean, football is like that. People come and go, you know, players come and go, coaches come and go, you know, but at the end of the day, that's how it is, so I cannot say anything about it. But it doesn't bother you. It doesn't bother Are you concerned maybe it might come to you? Is <laughs> <laughs> it an inspiration for you to work harder to make sure that it doesn't happen to you? I think uh, each and every soccer player here knows, or each and every prof professional footballer knows that this is not just a game. You know, it's, it's a job. So you need to make sure that you do your work here so that you can stay home. The sport left by uh, XT, you know, a lot of supporters might be looking upon you to actually fill in the gap. You know, do you take the responsibility to be the instrumental player that you are? Uh, I think me and Ule, we, we play the, the, the same kind of football, you know. We are quick, we can draw past players. So uh, I wouldn't say uh, I can fill in uh, whatever that Ule was doing or I can do. But I'll do my best to make sure that I help the team, support the team in each and every way going forward. You, you were speaking about um, sundowns um, earlier on. Are you guys feeling any kind of pressure uh, as other uh, chiefs? I mean, I know you're now not going to finish in the top three, which means you're not going to have continental football. But winning the Nedbank Cup might will get you a spot into continental football. I as, as an institution, as Kaiser Chiefs, do you feel the pressure to compete in um, continental football like the other teams do in South Africa? Uh, I think everyone is aware that uh, Chiefs is a team, so Chiefs need to compete in each and every competition. We qualify for it, you know. So I wouldn't say. I don't feel pressure. Uh, playing for chips is it's pressure because of you need to win each and every game, you know, for the game. So yeah, I think it, 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 it's a moral boost that I'm going to have and I'm going to, to work hard and make sure that we win the, the Cup.